Do you have PCOS and wondering if your estrogen might be high or low or what the situation is with estrogen levels in women with PCOS? My name is Dr. Taranella and in this video we're going to look at this question, is estrogen high or low in PCOS? We're going to look at some of the genetics behind estrogen levels and also going to look at how estrogen is naturally produced in the body and what might be going wrong in women with PCOS. So if you like this type of information on hormones, health, nutrition, etc., click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information contained in this video is for informational purposes only. It is not intended as a treatment for any health condition or as a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or a medical professional. It should be used as an educational guide to deepen your understanding of health and treatment success. If you need medical attention, all right, let's look at estrogen and PCOS. Don't delay in seeking that treatment. So in this video, we're going to look at the question, is estrogen high or low in PCOS? And first, before we get into estrogen and how it's produced and the effects of estrogen levels on PCOS, I want to first explain what PCOS is a little bit. So basically, it's polycystic ovarian syndrome. It's a combination of things going on in the body and some females characterized by increased hair growth on the face. So it's called androgenization. So they have more male characteristics. In some cases, there can be a lack of ovulation or no menstruation at all. There's also commonly characteristic cysts on the ovaries, but not always. There's oftentimes insulin resistance or diabetes, blood sugar issues, et cetera. So those are the, some of the main findings. And with that, there can be difficulty with fertility because of the lack of ovulation. So here we want to look at how the normal process is for estrogen production and what's going on in women with PCOS. The typical process of estrogen and production occurs from androstene dione turning into estrone, and then estrone turns into estradiol or CAM. And that process is mediated by an enzyme called aromatase. Aromatase enzyme turns androgens into estrogens. In some women with PCOS, that aromatase enzyme is not working properly. It seems like there's something blocking it, and that can lead to low estrogen, low estradiol. Typically, the stimulus or one of the stimuluses for the aromatase enzyme to increase its activity is the hormone FSH. Now that hormone comes from the pituitary gland and that's signaled as part of the normal ovulation process. FSH increases and that's a strong enough stimulus in most cases to stimulate the particular cells in the ovaries to produce more estradiol. But in some women with PCOS, there is not enough that FSH stimuli is not enough. There's something there that's really not causing the aromatase enzyme to increase its activity. And so there's like something blocking it. And so this study here that I have looked at, so basically the study was trying to find if there was something suppressing the estrogen production, if there was something inhibiting those aromatase enzymes. And they did indeed find something. And basically what they found was in the follicular fluid in women with PCOS, they found an androgen called 5-alpha androstene 3 17 dione That androgen is also known as androstanidione. So we don't want to confuse that with the other precursor to estrone known as androstene dione. So you can see in this study, this is the 5-alpha androstan-3 17 dione, and that's an inhibitor of the aromatase enzyme. That's not to be confused with androstene androstene dione. So you can read through some of those details if you want, but basically what they found was a higher concentration of the androstanidione. And what's happening there is that androstenedione can be converted into estrone, as we said, or it can also be converted into this androstanidione. And one activity happens through the aromatase enzyme, the estrone, and the other happens through the 5-alpha reductase enzyme. So if one of those pathways is blocked or slowed down, then it's going to go the other way. And having a higher presence of this 5-alpha androstan-3 17 dione, that's going to actually further inhibit that aromatase enzyme. So once the concentrations are already high, it makes it even harder for the body to produce more of that estrogen. So in this study, it was found that th that particular androgen was 1,000 times higher, 1,000 fold higher in women with PCOS in this particular study. But the activity of that androgen on the aromatase en enzyme doesn't fully account for all that lack of aromatase activity. So there's plenty of FSH 
age present in PCOS women, in, at least in the follicular fluid in this study, there's plenty of the precursor to the estrone, which is the androstene dione. But for some reason, that aromatase enzyme continues to be slower. And also, you know, it's kind of a chicken and egg thing. Yes, it's higher in PCOS women, but what caused it to be higher to begin with? So there's also seems to be a genetic component to this. So multiple studies have looked at the aromatase activity uh, gene expression in PCOS women and found that it is slower. So yes, there is an inhibitory component of increased androgens that inhibit the aromatase enzyme, but there also appears to be a genetic component of naturally just slower aromatase activity in PCOS women, leading to, since it, you know you have a precursor and it has two main pathways, if one of those slow down or block, you know, it's just going to go the other way. And that's the androgen way. As it relates to this process, there also appears to be some, in some, at least some women with PCOS, an increased activity in that 5-alpha reductase enzyme. And that may be the key component to all this androgenization, lack of ovulation, and all the things surrounding surrounding PCOS. So is estrogen high or low in PCOS? Well, it seems to be the trend. It's going to be on the lower side as compared to other hormones like progesterone and androgens. It may not be frankly low. And obviously there's a range of what estrogen should be throughout the, the cycle. And I've done other videos on that. So you can look at those too, if you want more details. All right, that should give you a better understanding of this question. Is estrogen high or low in PCOS? If you do have other questions, about any of the content in this video, PCOS or other questions in general, drop it in the comment section. I may do a separate video on that topic depending on the popularity. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time.